everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, in this talk, I am uh, going to cover these. Uh, actually, the main uh, talk will be about uh, this paper, and I'm going to compare some of the results with the previous uh, works. So uh, at first, I am going to introduce the uh, gravity models that I am using. Then I will introduce the numerical method and uh, the code. Then uh, the tools that uh, we've used to study the evolution of the um, systems will be discussed. And uh, we will see the comparison between the results of our models um, uh, finally. So uh, the main paradigm, as you all know, is the cold dark matter. And people have been working on this uh, for many years. Uh, despite the great successes of this uh, model, there are some uh, weaknesses still. So um, the main point is that uh, the dark matter particles are not yet uh, detected. So uh, another approach uh, remains valid, uh, which is uh, considering different uh, gravity models. As you saw in uh, Mahmoud's talk in uh, the morning sessions, um, um, the models of gravity that we've uh, worked on and uh, those that I am going to talk about uh, in this work are non-local gravity by Mashhoun and um, John Moffat's uh, modified gravity. Uh, as Mahmoud mentioned earlier, these, uh, the basis of these uh, two models are very different. However, the mm, uh, The weak field limit of these two uh, models looks very similar. As you see here, there are two free parameters uh, in, this, uh, in these two models, alpha and mu. And there is this uh, beta parameter that uh, is uh, half the value of mu for the NLG model. And it is equal to the mu for uh, the mode. Uh, you uh, have seen so far that uh, uh, appearance of this Yukawa term in the uh, equations um, results in very uh, serious differences uh, in the evolution of the, these galaxies. Um, just uh, notice that if we consider alpha and mu uh, to be equal to zero, we are going to uh, derive the uh, Newtonian force between two mass point particles. Okay, um, the value of these uh, three parameters, uh, uh, some uh, mean value for these two parameters has been introduced in uh, these works. And um, by using um, the fits of the observed uh, rotation curves, and these values have been obtained. However, uh, recent works uh, shows that, um, for example, in order to explain the radial acceleration relation by Matko and uh, his colleagues, uh, the free parameters of Mog needs to vary in different uh, environments. And uh, the value is actually um, dependent to the inverse uh, value of the uh, mass of the system. So. Uh, just remember here that we have two free parameters for uh, each of our models. Now, uh, the code I'm using is the Galaxy code. It is developed by uh, Jerry Selwood, and uh, he's going to talk more about this code in the next session. Uh, I'll just mention that it is a high resolution embodied simulation uh, code, uh, and you can construct construct um, uh, initial conditions in equilibrium. And uh, one of the good uh, options in this code is that uh, different mass models, different mass profi profiles 
are implemented in uh, the code. So you can choose uh, what you want and go on. Um, although you have some, um, uh, you have to notice some um, specifics that I'm going to talk about later. Okay, and um, as you heard earlier, the code um, has been modified uh, to uh, add the um, effects of the modified gravity to study these models. Um, we need to uh, consider the Tumri parameter Q to have uh, in values higher than one uh, in order to avoid the local fragmentation in your disk. And uh, okay, um, what you have seen so far for the um, evolution of um, galactic disks in modified gravity has been focused on uh, disk profiles of exponential and halo profile of uh, plumber. Um, in order, and you have seen that. Um, it is. Um, it shows very distinct behavior uh, from uh, the uh, dark matter models. So, uh, in order to make sure that um, our results are not dependent to the mass models, uh, we constructed uh, different models, both in disk and uh, halo. Uh, we consider the Cosmin Tumri profile and. Uh, um, as you see here, LIH and LHH models were considered. Um, this one is a CUSPI model. Uh, you will see the differences because of the CUSP uh, in our models uh, in the following slides. And uh, notice here that uh, we have also some three parameters uh, for each of um, these mass profile. So um, let me go to the next slide. And uh, here um, I have to tell you that in order to start, uh, in order to have a, a reliable comparison between some models, uh, you need uh, to start these models from a similar uh, initial state. By uh, this uh, initial state, uh, we mean uh, rotation curve, velocity dispersion, and so on. So uh, you need to uh, um, change the values of your three parameters to uh, build some models uh, that follows this instruction. Um, I should also mention that um, the um, the disk, the considered disk, in uh, is um, the same in both uh, dark matter and in modified gravity. You know, in modified gravity, we do not uh, assume the existence of uh, dark matter, so we only have a baryonic disk. And I should mention that we uh, do not consider uh, bulges in these simulations. Uh, this is something that uh, should be added later, uh, and uh, we're working on it. However, now we have only a, a disk, and this disk is um, is going to be evolved uh, according to the existence of the dark matter with some uh, spe special uh, uh, parameters, or uh, according to the existence of um, your modified gravity model with some special free parameters. Uh, as you see here, our models are uh, mostly consistent. However, this pink uh, curve shows uh, the LHH model, the Cosby model of Hernquist. And you see uh, the, uh, the uh, rotation curve in the inner parts of the disk is uh, higher uh, than the other model. This is because of the existence of the cusp and um, the excess of the uh, mass and the uh, higher uh, uh, gravity in the uh, middle of the disk. Okay, and you will see uh, this will make some differences in the evolution of our disk. Uh, so, one of the important parameters to study in the disk galaxies is the bar strength, because uh, and 
a large fraction of uh, considerable actually a uh, fraction of uh, these galaxies uh, possess uh, bars. So uh, different um, methods have been implemented in um, and in the literature. Um, some uh, focus on uh, the effect of the uh, bar on its environment, for example, uh, according to the uh, transfer, transfer of angular momentum. And also uh, there is another one which uh, focuses on uh, the brightness uh, in contrast uh, to the background of the disk. We use the second one. Uh, so we use the Fourier expansion. Uh, the Fourier amplitudes uh, should uh, be calculated and uh, M equal to two will, uh, will be uh, related to the bar mode and uh, also uh, the spirals in the disk. So if we do this, uh, we will um, find uh, these uh, graphs in, uh, this is the uh, evolution of the bars trend according to time in um, our different models. So um, as you see here, uh, the upper graph is uh, the exponential disks that uh, have uh, been uh, studied in our earlier works. And this one is the one uh, that we built to uh, check the uh, differences or uh, um, in order to check the uh, independency of the uh, results uh, on the mass model. So, uh, isothermal halo, plumber halo, these are both uh, used uh, with the disk, uh, with the uh, KT disk, cosmic tumor disk. And uh, you see a similar behavior between these two and the one, the one with black uh, curve here, uh, which is uh, another LPH model with the exponential disk. You see here uh, the growing um, state of the uh, bar strength, as you saw uh, in uh, Jerry's talks in the morning. Uh, however, in uh, the modified gravity models, this uh, blue curve here and the dashed curve is, are, is rich to some um, these uh, reach to some state that uh, they oscillate around as mm, around uh, an almost uh, constant value. This is also uh, present here. So uh, by far, uh, so far, mm, we're good. Uh, however, you can see uh, this curve here. This uh, shows some uh, differences between. Uh, mm, LIH and LPH, the isothermal and uh, plumber halos. Um, we talked about it before that this model has a cusp in the middle. We've uh, continued the behavior of uh, this uh, model to longer um, times. And we see that uh, after some uh, amount of of time, it starts to grow exactly like uh, the other uh, dark matter halos. I should uh, recall that uh, all these models, models of uh, dark matter, uh, are um, using live particles for the dark matter. This is really important uh, on the behavior of the disk. Okay. Uh, I don't see. The next slide. We also can't see this slide. Neither. I don't know what's the problem. Should we upload it again? Um, can you skip this slide? Uh, okay. Okay. Okay.
many of the slides are not uh, showing. So maybe it's better to share your screen. Okay, go back. Uh, let's go uh, to this one. Um, okay, the uh, the pattern and speed of the disk is another important feature. Uh, the bar in the disk, I mean. Um, and uh, we, uh, we can see a similar behavior uh, here again. Uh, the oscillations are present in uh, the modified gravity models and also the decline in the pattern speed is uh, visible in the um, dark matter models. So uh, this is going to be used uh, to calculate the R parameter. We need uh, bar length uh, also. And uh, we use the Fourier decomposition method uh, to calculate the bar length. Uh, this has been uh, shown uh, to be um, in good agreement uh, for the values um, we find uh, for this um, uh, for the bar length in, with this method in uh, numerical simulations. So uh, this is it. And now uh, we find the R parameter. And uh, as you saw earlier, we have the same results here. Uh, the modified gravity models stay in the fast bar regime. However, all uh, the three um, dark matter models uh, are all uh, slow uh, bars. Um, this is uh, just a further test to uh, uh, the uh, independency of our results. We uh, also uh, considered another Cosby model of NFW uh, with different uh, um, values for the disk. And we um, studied the behavior. No, no, we cannot hear you. So it seems that there is a problem with the laptop and we will fix it. Please uh, be patient. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, there was some technical problems. I was, uh, the Chrome was closed. So no problem. No Sorry. problem. Sorry. Okay, this, uh, the behavior of uh, the NFW model is uh, similar to the Hernquist uh, model with the cusp, uh, with the cusp in the middle. Um, I think I'm not the presenter. Okay. Um, in order to study this further, we um, studied the uh, density of the halo in the middle parts of the disk. So uh, uh, you can see here two different uh, models. One is uh, LIH, which is a cord halo density. The other one is uh, the hernquist cosby model. Uh, the black curves are related to the Cosby model. So if you look at the gray curves uh, at different time, uh, time at evolution times, uh, you can see that uh, not much difference has happened in this model. On the other hand, the cost, the initial cost of the uh, LHS model will uh, change to a core uh, at uh, later times. I mean, uh, between uh, time uh, t equal to uh, four, uh, 240 and t equal to uh, 800, uh, we will see a considerable change in the uh, value of um, the density. Um, this is uh, compatible to what we saw in the evolution of our uh, bar strength and also uh, the pattern is good. I should uh, get back 
uh, to the slide of the uh, this one. You can see that uh, at the time. Let me. Uh, at around uh, 600, uh, the time of 600, uh, the uh, bar strength starts to change its uh, behavior. You see a, a constant value of uh, here in this uh, period, and then after that, it starts to grow again. Uh, we uh, concluded actually that uh, the uh, existence of the bar and the uh, um, secular evolution in the disk changes the uh, inner cusp of uh, the um, Heron-Quist model to uh, a core. And then after this uh, core happens and it, um, our dark matter model will look like, like uh, the other core uh, system. So the evolution will start, uh, will uh, continue similar uh, to uh, the others. Um, uh, another thing that uh, you have seen already is the power spectrum uh, and the oscillations. Um, in this is uh, an example of uh, one of our modified gravity models, and this is a, a sample of our uh, dark matter halo. Uh, you can here uh, see that uh, the existence of these uh, two values in the, uh, these two frequencies uh, can be um, uh, can be responsible. To uh, the oscillations in uh, our uh, modified gravity models. On the other hand, in the uh, dark matter models, this uh, distinct values are not visible. We can see here that uh, the frequency changes during the time and uh, lowers them. Uh, and uh, we uh, we can conclude that uh, this is uh, relevant to the existence of uh, the dynamical friction in the system. Uh, you're, uh, you cannot rely uh, on these uh, values because um, you, um, this was one of uh, the slides um, that I couldn't show you. I will try it again. Uh, this is the face on view of our disk. It's not showing. I, I'm not sure why. Uh, uh, we, mm, okay, <laughs> there you could see that um, the uh, the disk is uh, the particle the disk particles uh, expand to larger radii in uh, non-local uh, gravity and also in mode. On the other hand, the uh, disks in uh, LPH model and the other um, dark matter models uh, are uh, confined to um smaller radii uh, i mean uh, these are not reliable because there is not much uh, particles at these uh, radii so uh, so that's why we uh, do not actually see uh excuse me i missed the page uh, we do not uh, see such oscillations as in uh, modified gravities in the models of uh, dark matter. No, no, sorry, okay. uh, interruption, you have five minutes. Uh, okay, I'm almost done. Uh, this is my last slide. I will then uh, try to share my screen to show you the uh, face on figures. Then I will uh, be done. Do you hear me? Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, so these oscillations uh, can, um, uh, as a test, we uh, plotted uh, these figures to uh, um, 
show the oscillations, the existence of these oscillations. If uh, you consider, uh, this is the bar amplitude. If you consider uh, uh, the bar amplitude in the whole disk, you will get uh, this uh, noisy curve uh, of a uh, bit color gray. But uh, if you divide the disk uh, into um, different radii, actually, as you saw in the previous picture, uh, this uh, mode extends between these radii and this one is here. So if we consider uh, radius four uh, and um, calculate the value of bar amplitude, uh, you will see that uh, a lot of this noise is going to uh, be uh, omitted. Uh, however, such thing does not happen in uh, the uh, Hernquist models. So uh, let me share my screen so that uh, maybe you could see those figures and that uh, I'm going to finish my talk. Does anything happen? Okay, seems that I'm uh, not able to do this. So thank you very much. I'm done.